Welcome back to the channel. Well, we're going to be looking at the outlook for the next couple of weeks. I've put a couple of images together so we can have a look at what each model thinks and so we can have a look at the comparison. But a lot of uncertainty on how cold it will go, how long it will last, will there be any wintry weather, but it's definitely going to go colder. So let's dive in and have a look. Many thanks to Metdesk for the use of their charts, wxcharts.com. What I've done, I've put two images together with the same date and time. You can see the date and time on the top right hand side of each image. The GFS image is on the left and the ECMWF model is on the right. So we're starting off Sunday the 16th and you can see what we've got around on that date. Both have got low pressure off the southwest part of the UK. The purpley colours, that is wintry snowfall. Obviously it's over Scandinavia at that time. You can see that uh, both have got some cold air starting to come down from the Arctic. So let's start the model. Monday the 17th, Cold air is coming down the east side of the UK. Got some wintry weather coming down Norway, uh, down into the North Sea area. But all in all, both models are pretty close together there. Tuesday, the GFS have got some wintry showers coming into the north of Scotland. The cold air is coming right down the UK. Uh, and the ECMWF have got a quite a larger area of low pressure off northwest Scotland and the colder air is coming more down the uh, east side instead of straight down the country. Let's move forward one more day. Wednesday the 19th. GFS again he's got some showers down the east coast and on the northwest side with some wintry weather coming down before Scotland. The ECMWF have got a low pressure system sitting over the top of Scotland bringing some wintry weather on the northwest side. Thursday the 20th. GFS still got Cold air coming down the country, some wintry weather on the very top of Scotland. ECMWF have got this low pressure system off the northeast coast, bringing some wintry showers around in northern Scotland and England and possibly Northern Ireland. But they're bringing the, the winds around from the northeasterly direction instead of the northerly which the GFS has got. This is because they have put in a low pressure system there. Friday the 21st, the GFS are bringing showers in on the west coast and isobars are running from west to east across the UK. The ECMWF are bringing a northerly airflow with that low pressure system still out in the North Sea. Saturday the 22nd. Different shape of the low pressure system of the GFS compared with the mix up from the ECMWF of a couple of low pressure systems. Uh, both are bringing in fairly wet conditions um, but the ECMWF have gone in for some wintry weather over Scotland and possibly uh, northwest England. Sunday the 23rd, well, the GFS are definitely bringing in low pressure system through the UK with the low pressure, with the centre of the low pressure system between Scotland and Iceland and the ECMWF have definitely got the low pressure system out in the North Atlantic. So you can see some differences between the two big models. 
now we're looking at the data from my weather station for the month of november and what i was interested in is the uh, average temperature i'm recording at the moment as of the 11th of november is 11.4 degrees so uh, it's a lot milder and it should be for november so we definitely got a, a cooling off now i made this image um ooh, several years ago and I made it for my followers on Facebook when I was trying to explain about different air masses. So as you can see, um, next week we, we've definitely got this air coming down from the Arctic on the Arctic Maritime and Polar Maritime Air Mass uh, location. A bit later on we're definitely going to be seeing... Uh, tropical maritime tropical continental air mass coming in so let's have a look at that now we're looking at the 500 hpa for sunday the 16th and what i was interested in is blocking and different air masses you can see the the high pressure blocking from the atlantic up into southern greenland you can see the warmer air mass with the orange colors and the blue colours is the colder air mass which is coming over most of Scotland and England with only the south of Wales and the southwest at that time still in a milder air mass. So we go on uh, the week to Sunday the 23rd and by this time there's been a, a battle between the colder air mass to the north and the warmer air mass to the southwest in the southwest Atlantic and uh, and southern Europe. You can see the definite warmer air mass there. I do hope you found that interesting, all of it. A bit unconclusive, but there was a, a fair bit in there with the different models and the data from my weather station and other bits and pieces I've put into the video. If you've enjoyed it, do give me a great big thumbs up. I'll be appreciate that. And do leave that comment below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe to my channel. Love to hear from you. Anyway, until we meet again, look after yourselves and those you love. BFN, bye for now.